Hi everyone, this is the sixth lecture of the biochemistry lecture series, Topic Protein Synthesis. In this lecture, we will know about an interesting topic called RNA editing. Please stay tuned till the end of the video to understand the concept in detail. A quick message to everyone, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe the Basic Science Series YouTube channel to support the work by simply clicking the subscribe button present on the lower right corner of your screen. In the previous lecture, we discussed about translational frame shifting or translational recoding. It is a biological phenomena that occurs during translation and results in the production of multiple unique proteins from a single mRNA molecule. If you have any questions regarding the topic, please write the question in the comment section. I will do my best to address those questions. I will also provide the link to the previous video in the description box. Okay, let's start the lecture by understanding what is RNA editing. RNA editing is a molecular process through which some cells can make discrete changes to specific nucleotide sequence within an RNA molecule after it has been generated by RNA polymerase. What it means is when a cell makes an RNA molecule, its sequence can be changed after it is synthesized to change the final sequence of the protein. RNA editing may include the insertion, deletion and base substitution of nucleotides within the RNA molecule. Here, you need to understand what is insertion, deletion and base substitution of nucleotides. Insertion means when there is an addition of a nucleotide in the sequence. Deletion obviously means when there is a deletion of a nucleotide in the sequence. Base substitution means when there is an exchange of one nucleotide with another. RNA editing has been observed in tRNA, rRNA, mRNA or miRNA molecules of eukaryotes as well as in viruses, archaea and prokaryotes. RNA editing occurs in cell nucleus and cytosol as well as within mitochondria and plastids. Alright, let's discuss the process of RNA editing. Editing by insertion or deletion are also known as pan editing. RNA editing through the addition and deletion of uracil has been found in kinetoplast. A kinetoplast is a network of circular DNA molecules present in a large mitochondrion. Because this may involve a large fraction of the sites in a gene, it is sometimes referred as pan editing. Pan editing starts with the base pairing of the unedited primary transcript with a guide RNA or gRNA, which contains complementary sequences to the region around the insertion or deletion points. After that, the newly formed double standard region is then enveloped by a editosome, a large protein complex that catalyzes the editing. The editosome opens the transcript at the first mismatched nucleotide and start inserting uridines. The inserted uridines will base pair with the guide RNA and insertion will continue as long as A or G is present in the guide RNA and will stop when a C or U is encountered. The inserted nucleotide sequence causes a translational frame shift and because of the translational frame shift that we already discussed can lead to a change in a final protein sequence. I have already discussed frame shifting in detail in the previous lecture so please refer to the previous lecture if you do not understand what is translational frame shifting. The mechanism of editosome involves an endonucleolytic cut at the mismatched point between the guide RNA and the unedited transcript. The next step is catalyzed by one of the enzymes in the complex, a terminal uridine transferase, which adds uridines from UTP at the 3' end of the mRNA molecule. Ends are held in place by other proteins in the complex. Another enzyme, a uridine-specific exoribonuclease, removes the unpaired uridines. After editing has made mRNA complementary to guide RNA, an RNA ligase rejoins the end of the edited mRNA molecule. Another mechanism of RNA editing is editing by deamination. The editing involves cytidine deaminase that deaminates a cytidine base into uridine base. 
Also, there is another type of deamination where adenosine is deaminated into inosine. All right, let's discuss the functions of RNA editing. RNA editing can alter the sequence. It can alter the future path of the RNA molecule. It may cause a viral genome mutation and it may alter secondary structure of RNA molecule causing a different protein binding site. Okay, I hope this lecture was helpful for you to understand the phenomena of RNA editing. If you like the video, please press the like button and do subscribe the channel. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next lecture.